guys, so today I wanted to go through my body care products. As you can tell, they're mostly body lotions. And there are 33 products in front of you. I'm pretty darn sure that this is the lot. I can't think of any... Th oh, actually, no, I can. I can think of one thing that is potentially missing, and that is another bottle of E45 lotion. I honestly can't for the life of me find it. So aside from that, we're pretty much good to go. So I'm just going to start with what's at the front here. We have three bottles of, well, three tubes of Soap and Glory products. We have two of the Heal Genius. This one is a lot older than this one. I mean, it's, it's a lot older. Um, it doesn't even smell good anymore. Yeah, this one is a lot mintier, a lot fresher, so I'm going to get rid of the old one and keep the new one and use it up. The hand food. I really like the hand food. I need to get back in the habit of using hand lotion every night, so I'm going to keep this by my bed, so I use it up. We have Youth Dew from Estee Lauder. Um, this is the body lotion that goes along with the fragrance. There's less than 100 mils in here, so it shouldn't take me too long to go through this bottle, so I'll hold on to it for a while longer. Plus, it's really pretty and luxe, and I'm not sure if this is like colored glass or some kind of ceramic or what it is, but it's not plastic, I'll tell you that. We have Smoky Poppy body lotion. Um, I can't remember. Bless you, little kitty. Oh yes, yes, I like this smell. Um, I actually have the perfume of this. I missed it out of my um, perfume declutter because I can't actually find it. Um, I must have misplaced it in the move. But this is a beautiful, deep, um, really woodsy kind of scent. I really like it. So we'll keep hold of that. We have the body lotion for a baba. So that's Luna's. We have Stretch Mark Lotion, which works really well for me. This is my last bottle of it at the moment, so I'm going to work through it. Um, my only bottle of tanning product, which is the Sublime Bronze Elixir from L'Oreal. This is the one that you put on and it builds up as you apply it. It goes on clear, it leaves a bit of a shimmer but it lasts a really long time in your skin and it fades really evenly and it's a really nice color. I just haven't self-tanned in a while and I've gotten rid of pretty much all my other self-tanning products except for this one and the Clarins one which is in my skincare area. Now I did just think of a product that is missing and that is the Bust Cream from Palmer's. It's like a little tube. It'll be somewhere. Um, but there is a tube of Bust specific cream. And it's supposed to be like a firming cream for your boobs. Whether it works or not, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't actually tried it out. Um, we have a bottle of spray oil. This isn't the... Um, this isn't actually the pampering dry oil from number seven. This is just whatever oil happens to be in here. Once I finish what's in here, I'm gonna throw away the bottle and buy a new spray bottle because this one is getting really kind of grotty and nasty. Firming body butter is nearly empty. I think it's like way down here somewhere. So um, yeah, I, I actually really, really enjoy this stuff. I will probably repurchase it at some point once I've gone through all this stupid amount of body lotion. Amber Oud smells like the perfume that I have of it. So good. It's, it's almost really, it's almost rather masculine, but I do enjoy it. Um, I just need to suck it up and finish it. We have the Lip Cure Balm. This particular bottle is burst, so I'm focusing on finishing it. I have three bottles of it at the moment I do really really like this stuff it's very moisturizing um I'm not sure whether I'll continue to purchase it we'll have to see we have three bottles of body moisturizing oil from Palmer's this is what I used to use in my bath before I started purchasing the e45 bath oils 
Um, those ones are, I believe they're 500ml bottles and you, they're much better value for money whereas these are only 250ml bottles and they cost like £5 something each. It's it's a lot of money um, but it works really good as a body moisturiser so that's what I keep them around for. I don't know whether or not I will continue to purchase them once I've finished up these ones. We'll have to wait and see. The Palmer's Smoothing Exfoliating Lotion. It's got uh, lactic acid in it, I believe. Uh, do, 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 with alphabet hydroxys, vitamin E, shea butter, exfoliates, fast absorbing. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is a lactic acid. So you do have to use body lotion while you're using this same with the nip fab ones because it's exposing your skin to more sun but i do enjoy it it's not as nice as the nip fab ones but i will finish up the bottle while we're on the topic of the nip fab ones let me just move this all out of the way so speaking of the nip fab this is the glycolic fix body cream i bought a bottle of it and I used it really quickly and I bought five bottles of it at the start of the year thinking it would last me all year but I've kind of since dipped off of moisturising as much as I was. I really need to get back into it but the Glycolic Fix body cream, the first couple of times I used it, it was, um, it was kind of tingly on the skin but it felt, the um, it was a nice tingle, it didn't burn or anything. Um, but it made my skin feel really smooth afterwards. It helped so much for reducing stretch marks, especially when I was losing weight after giving birth. Um, so yeah, I need to get back into using those really regularly. Same with foot butter, well, foot treatments. This one is by Champneys and it's sort of like, a, it's like a pudding consistency. You can see it, it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous peppermint. I mean, it's so, so delicious. Like, you almost want to eat it. It's such a nice peppermint smell. But, um, yeah, I really need to get back into do putting my, um, taking care of my feet. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Champney's foot butter. I will be keeping hold of this. It's probably one of my favourite foot treatments. I actually like it more than the Soap and Glory one. And I've had one from Sanctuary that I didn't really care for. I love this one the best. E45 moisturizing lotion. Just a, a no fuss, no frills, gets the job done, absorbs really nicely, leaves your skin super hydrated and um, I use this both on myself and I also use it on Luna as well. The Righteous Butter, this was part of a Christmas set. As you can see I've used a fair bit of it um, but as you can see by the nozzle I haven't used it in a little while, so I just need to bite the bullet and get it used up. So, yeah. Next we have all my tubbed body butters. Um, we have six from the body shop and one from Soap and Glory, one from Champneys. Um, we'll start with them. The Champneys one, this kind of goes along with the Distant Shores... Um, which I'm gonna call it Distant Shores Bath Bubble Bath. I have it's got that same sort of Orientalness about it. It's got musk, vanilla, and tonka bean. Um, it kind of ever so slightly reminds me of Shalimar by Guerlain. I know this this <laughs> the audio for this video is gonna be full of the sound of me sniffing things, but this is a very nice velvety moisturizing cream um, I don't use it as often as I should but I will probably have this finished by the end of the year it's just it's so so nice the righteous butter I don't think I've used this yet no it smells just the same as the righteous butter body lotion it's just a thicker formula so I may just save this until, um, what do you call it? Until after, um, 
until winter. That's what I'm trying to say. I will probably save this until winter and use it up then because it is a very nice thick formula. And then lastly, we have these guys. The one I'm definitely getting rid of is the almond one because as you can tell, it is the old style packaging, which means I've had it for a really long time. It, it kind of smells really plasticky and synthetic-y. As you can see, I did get a good chunk used up of it, but I'm just going to let it go because it's, it's old, it's old, it's old, old, old. Um, uh, lastly, we have the Brazil nut one, which doesn't really smell of much, but I don't think it's meant to. That's, that's the reason I like it. I don't, if Brazil nut has a smell, I can't smell it. So if I'm just wanting something that's going to moisturize and not compete with my lo my fragrance I want to wear, this is the one I go for. We have papaya, which I think I picked this up thinking it was peach. I mean, it smells all right. It kind of smells like Satsuma. Um, but as you can see, I haven't actually used it. So we'll, we'll try and get that used up soon. The grapefruit one, I love pink grapefruit, I love the shower gel. The body lotion, I think this is maybe possibly starting to turn. Um, we'll see, I'll keep it a little while longer and test it out and see how it feels on the skin. If it doesn't feel good enough, I will get rid of it. Then we have the vanilla ones. This is Vanilla Gourmand, which came out in a Christmas no, not Vanilla Gourmand, it's Vanilla Bliss. It came out in Christmas collection. It just kind of smells like your typical vanilla fragrance. It's not overly sweet. I have two of them. I'm guessing I started that one by mistake before realizing I'd already started this one. This one's like almost halfway done. But yeah, I will keep these guys for a bit longer and try and get them used up. If I can aim to finish one of them a month, you know, that would be good. And then by like the end of next year, I will be down to just a couple of lotions. That is the goal. That is the goal. No one needs this many lotions. So yeah, not the most productive declutter ever. I am only getting rid of two products, a body lotion and a foot cream. But everything else in here, I really love, enjoy and mostly use. There's a couple of things I haven't used in a while, such as the perfumed lotions, like the Amber Oud, smoked, uh, Smoky Poppy and the Soap and Glory lotion. Um, but I'm going to make a conscious effort to try and use them more often. And... Uh, yeah, so hopefully in coming empties in the in the months, coming months, what am I even trying to say? So hopefully you'll see a bunch of these in empties in months to come and this box by the end of next year should be a shadow of its former self. It should, don't, it sh I should be able to use up at least three quarters of this box by the end of next year. So we shall see how things go and um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.